Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Movie 43, which has a huge line of a cast and crew, as well as producers and directors, who actually pitched in what seems to be nothing but a huge line of comedy sketches, which is sort of in the tradition of the Kentucky Fried Movie, an Amazon woman on the moon as opposed to burn Hollywood burn what seems to be yeah it stars Dennis Quaid Greg Kinnear Richard Gere Holly Berry Emma Stone Gerald Butler Josh Duhamel Elizabeth Banks Kieran Cogan Christopher Mintz Plaza Anne Ferris Nicole Snooky uh, Palazzi and so on and it's directed by uh, the Fairley brothers Peter and Bobby Griffin Dunn Elizabeth Banks Stephen Brill from Heavyweights Seth McLaren and so on well and I gotta say though out of all the films I've seen so far this year or any other year but this had to be the worst sad to say because I was almost looking forward to seeing it just to see how it turns out because I gotta admit I did love Kentucky Fried Movie for the looks of it and Amazon Woman on the Moon too it was fun I figured you know this generation they wanted to do yet another incarnation of that film but possibly for internet reasons <laughs> go figure well after seeing it, I knew the worst was yet to come. Well, here it goes. The movie begins when a deranged and crazy writer, who's, believe it or not, by the name of Charlie Ressler, played by Dennis Quaid, was forced by a studio executive, who's played by Greg Kinnear, to listen to a rambling, borderline insane pitch for a movie that's made up of 11 unrelated stories which features a huge cast starting in their own sketches basically that's what the film is all about just 11 stories filled with nothing but nasty disgusting crazy and really WTF moments of anonymously weird that you really had to sit through and this is where it gets really difficult to follow well, I gotta admit, I did like some of the sketches they had, such as the one with Emma Stone, with Kieran Cogan's characters, you know, talking uh, at a supermarket about their stories. I thought that was interesting. Also another sketch with, with Chloe Grace Morantz, along with Christopher Mintz Plaza, who did, of course, McLovin in Superbad. I thought they were both, you know, good. Yeah, and there was also another good one with Elizabeth Banks, who actually did a sketch about, about a strange and animated uh, cat that just won't go away. And it, and it keeps stalking her uh, all this time, which happens to be, you know, her boyfriend's cat. I mean, yeah, there were some funny moments between those sketches, but the rest of them, out of all places, is nothing but a big disaster. And even worse, we even get Snooky from Jersey Shore to do her adaptation of Moby Dick. <sighs> what the hell? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's really sad and depressing to see stars like Richard Gere, and Dennis Quaid, uh, Halle Berry, and all these others, including Kate Winslet, Hugh Jackman, Jared Butler. Oh, so on. There's like so many talented actors, even Naomi Watts, too. What the hell? I mean, I feel like they were in there, they were in for the money or something. But this had to be really strange for a studio to uh, greenlight a film like this that features a great cast that obviously don't even know what they're doing. It's really sad because I feel like now their careers have been wasted in this mess. And the scary thing about this movie was that it was not directed by, out of all people, Aaron Sessler and Jason Friedberg. Even more scary. 
but maybe for the good part. It didn't feature Justin Timberlake in this mess. But even if it did, as opposed to these two worst directors, or even Uwe Boll for that matter, oh, or hell, I even throw in the actor who played Fred, it would be even more of a nightmare. But, yeah, this was a disaster. Because eventually this turned out to be an early candidate for the worst movie of 2013. So far we had another bad movie called Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, which had uh, Jeremy Renner. That was awful, too. And we had A Haunted House with uh, Marlon Wayans. Oh, boy. January is really becoming a depressing month so far. Even though we had The Last Stand with Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's probably the only good film I'd rather see than, than this mess again. Because this was a disaster. I can't believe I had to sit through this mess. Well, well, I knew I made a big mistake. But that's how it happens. But surprisingly enough, though, I saw a screening of that movie. So at least I got to see it for free. <laughs> so maybe that's the safe part of that, that I didn't pay to see this movie. I didn't like it at all. Despite of some funny moments, well, it's not worth recommending. So anyway, I give Movie 43 one star. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.